The other day I saw this little tweet that showed a graphic that Dragon Age The Veil Guard is going to be for free thanks to NVIDIA. That NVIDIA is giving away free copies of the new game if you buy a six-month subscription to its cloud-based GeForce Now service. And I tweeted out, yuck, I wouldn't even play this woke crap for free, which is true. I mean, we've been talking about Dragon Age The Veil Guard and all this fucking woke nonsense has been injected in it, most notably the top surgery scars. And yeah, apparently the pre-orders are so bad for this game that they're essentially giving it away free. And we've seen this with other games recently, like Star Wars Outlaws. Literally a different company was doing the same similar thing. I think like if you ordered something or if you bought a brand new computer, you would get Star Wars Outlaws free. Don't quote me on that, but I swear I saw something like that. So Dragon Age of Veil Guard pretty divisive in regards to some of the designs of the characters, how they've changed some things in the game. But again, like I said, the top surgery scars with the created character mode. So I wanted to look at this article from, <laughs> from that park place, which is basically talking more in depth about this saying, you know, mounting evidence is pointing to poor sales and Bioware is partnering with NVIDIA to give the game away for free, which to me is a sign that it's not good. It is not good. So yeah, they basically posted on their blog that you can get it for free when it releases on October 31st if you purchase six months of their service. Now, I'm not interested in purchasing any kind of NVIDIA GeForce Now bundle, but it's $99.99 for six months. Yikes. That's pretty pricey. I'm not a PC gamer, and, and I'm sure it's good service and all that, but they're putting a great deal, apparently, for this service that is in demand and putting a shitty game on top of it. I almost think a lot of people aren't even interested in playing this woke crap at all. So this says again, $99.99 for six months along with Dragon Age of Guard includes GeForce RTX 4080 rig, RTX on, and access to the RTX 4080 servers up to 4K resolution, 120 FPS, no ads, and an eight-hour session length and that the bundle's only available to purchase through October 30th. So this is a sale that's only going to be going on for like the next week or so. Now, continuing on the article, they're going to talk about how this is coming in the wake of a lot of things indicating that the game's pre-order sales are not doing well and that interest in the game is low. Most notably, Stuttering Craig, he's actually had an insider that works at a big box retail store that's been giving us insights not just on Dragon Age, but also Assassin's Creed Shadows, Concord, Dustborn, you name it. And apparently, the game has only received a total of 1,957 pre-orders between Xbox and PlayStation 5. Now, that's physical. There's no proof with digital. You know, you can always argue we don't know how well the game is selling because digital isn't factored into this. But if you look on here, man, this retail insider is saying that physical copies are not better, that between the gold and standard editions and their 800-plus stores, so this is a retail uh, brand that has 800 fucking stores. They only have just under 2,000 pre-orders, which 1,552 of those are PlayStation, 405 of those are Xbox. That is bad. That is terrible. That's like studio shutdown numbers. And again, I think a lot of this is attributed to that people just see stuff like the top surgery scars and they're turned away from it. They're turned off from bullshit like that. I know, I know a lot of these people that are Wokies and stuff. Oh, why does it matter? It just gives people customization so they could feel relatable to the character in the video game that they're playing. And, and you don't need your safe space. You don't need to feel relatable to your character. And then also it's a fantasy setting. Why do we need top surgery scars in a fantasy setting? There's no such thing as top surgery in a period of Dragon Age. Why can't we just have escapes from reality? Why are all these developers so focused on making bullshit that has woke ideologies in it and political narratives and stuff? And if we if we call it out, we're racist and we're bigots. And I mean, I saw Alyssa Mercante attack Craig over this, saying that he has made up insiders uh, that aren't accurate about the account or not. But honestly, you know, he seems like he's been pretty correct. I mean, back in September, 
He said the same thing, saying that they have had 1,069. So it's gone up a little bit, not much. But this is back when he reported that Zelda Echoes of Wisdom was tearing the game apart. That Zelda was over 4,400, while Dragon Age barely had 1,000. That's that's outrageous. Now, granted, it's Zelda, so of course it's going to sell like hotcakes. But Dragon Age is one of Bioware's biggest properties. It's one of the most loved franchises of all time. And you can see just how bad things like Top Surgery Scars have caused this franchise to, uh, to falter. It's almost like people that are coming into these gaming uh, studios are hoping to live off of and be successful off of the work of people that worked on games like Dragon Age and, you know, other franchises for so long. The, the, these franchises are becoming bastardized by woke ideologies again. It's, it's like, okay, we're going to take this franchise and change everything about it to fit this modern audience that does not exist. This, this modern audience doesn't exist, and they're catering to a small percentage of people that don't even support the games financially. You could say, uh, you could see right here, it says a retail insider who manages over nine, 900 stores also shared that these numbers are three times less than Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, which has been killing it, right? That they had a total of 5,952 pre-orders on the Friday before the game released. And that there were a total of 5,538 PS5 pre-orders out of that 414 Xbox pre-orders. And you got to look at the the icing on the cake right here, guys. I mean, it's not even in the top 50. We talked about this the other day on the most wish-listed upcoming Steam games. It's not even in the top 50. Apparently, even looking on Google Trends and searches, it's nowhere near the peak of interest of Suicide Squad when the game was released at the end of February. So you can see, even with a failed game like Suicide Squad, there's more interest and more people giving a shit and caring about it than Dragon Age. Like, this game is dead on arrival, which is why NVIDIA is basically trying to give it away at this point. Like, hey, sign up for a service and get the game for free. <laughs> That's a big fucking yikes, guys. And, uh, you know, again, I think it's attributed to companies just not focused on making good games anymore. They're just focused on on bullshit. They're all political activists that, that don't even care about their fans to begin with. Um, this game, you know, I'm sure it's going to have its moments. I'm sure it's going to have some fun gameplay and all that. But it's tainted. And they should think about that. If they have a good game, they should think about what they're tainting the reputation with before they decide to go ahead and inject DEI because I think they're shooting themselves in the foot anytime that they do this. So let me know your thoughts, guys, in the comments below. Subscribe if you're brand new. We're almost to 93,000 subscribers. I'd love for you guys to join the ABE Nation. I'll see you on the next one, guys. Thank you for watching.